Everybody. today we're going to do some maintenance on the gr86 uh, just a standard oil change here we are going to use some uh, subaru uh, genuine ow20 uh, synthetic oil i also have a uh, oil filter uh, from subaru uh, some tools you'll need um, you'll want a uh, oil catch can or oil um, disposable can here a filter um, some microfiber towels um, some gloves and I believe you'll need a 10 millimeter socket along with a 17 millimeter. Uh, so the first things first we wanna do is we wanna go over to the engine bay here uh, and just wanna take off this uh, oil cap here and loosen up the oil filter. Right, we'll begin by removing the um, old oil filter up top. Just uh, unscrew here. These are hand tight. And uh, you'll want a microfiber towel to catch any uh, leaking oil that comes out from the oil filter. Like so, here's our old one. All right, next up, we're gonna remove the engine oil cap here just by unloosening it here. And uh, you'll see here that the recommended oil, engine oil is uh, OW20. Okay, so underneath the car, you'll see that there are uh, three 10 millimeter bolts here, uh, one, two, and three. Um, we're going to be removing these uh, uh, these two over here towards the uh, rear of the car. Uh, this would be the front of the car. Um, and I'll show you a reason why. There's no reason to remove this uh, third one here. We're just gonna be able to swivel this over to the side and access the main uh, drain plug uh, through here. So go ahead and uh, loosen this one up here. So it's already kind of loose, sweet. remove it with our fingers this last part here yep flew right out and I'm just gonna get this last one here probably do the rest with our fingers set those to the side with your ratchet cool so now we can just uh, stick our finger in here and just swivel this over to the side and this is our oil pan here. And then so once you have your uh, drain catch can underneath, um, we can access that 17 millimeter bolt uh, that is attached to the oil can here. Uh, so we can go ahead and loosen that up. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest with my fingers and I am probably gonna make a mess because I suck at this, but we shall see how it goes. Not too bad. So we'll just let the oil drain there. As you can see, it's uh, draining very nicely. Um, into our drain master here. Okay, it's been about 10 or 15 minutes or so. Uh, let the car sit and drain. 
uh, the old oil. Um, in the meantime, uh, prep the um, <clears throat> the new oil on the side, and uh, so now we're going to install the crusher washer and um, our drain plug back into the uh, oil pan there. Okay, so I have the crusher washer and the drain plug there. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and insert the drain plug and hand tighten it first. Get our microfiber and just wipe down any excess oil that's um, still kind of dripping out. Got our 17 millimeter socket right in there. Kind of tight so we're gonna go um pretty much you know firm tight and then a quarter turn that should do it there yep and last but not least we're gonna install the 10 millimeter bolts that go here and here so just like before we're gonna stick our finger in this hole here and just swivel it back over and align it to the brackets up here so these do come with um a washer so you want to make sure those stay on there we're just going to hand tighten both sides and take our 10 millimeter socket and just uh, tighten those up And just double check this last one, make sure everything is tight. We're just gonna grab our finger, grab some oil from the uh, catch can here and apply it to that uh, gasket here. Like so. Now we're gonna take our oil filter and replace the old with the new. This goes right in like so. So as the car is warming up, we can go ahead and jump to our uh, maintenance settings in the car, uh, tapping on maintenance, and then we can go over to our engine oil and set a distance reminder. Um, I like to do every 3,000 miles or so. As you can see, it's um, all said and done. So now we can uh, go back uh, to our engine bay and check the uh, engine oil levels. Now we can jump into the reading. And we're right at that second dot here for oil. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Um, so we're right where we need to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive the car a few times around the block just to make sure uh, we are getting a correct reading and add oil if we need to. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it.